basically every time a U2 flies, uh, you have a second U2 pilot who's the backup pilot for the day in case the primary pilot gets sick or has some issue that he causes them that he can't fly. And then also you're there basically as his wingman. So you're there to provide support in case of emergencies. You're there to do the walk around since he's in a spacesuit, so he can't do that himself. He just gets in it and trusts you and straps into the airplane and takes off. You have to trust the mobile with your life that he's going to set everything up the way it should be, which is why we're such a close-knit community. Probably the most important role of mobile officers on landing, you're there to drive the car and uh, be a chase vehicle and talk the pilot down from 10 feet down to the runway since he has extremely limited visibility and he's basically landing on the equivalent of bicycle wheels. Here's about 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 2, 2, back up to 3, 2, 1, inches. So the chase car is my, it's my wingman slash co-pilot and uh, coming back from a 9, 10, or out longer hour sortie, uh, it's nice to have the extra set of eyes and ears and then having the extra brain there. Um, to help with the landing portion of things makes a huge difference. Coming back would be a lot more challenging without them. There's not really another airframe where you have that kind of level of trust and that's out of necessity here. Um, it's a pretty neat community and it's a pretty big responsibility.